did you watch the Roadhouse remake? <laughs> I just watched it. I just watched it like a few days ago. I didn't make it through. You didn't make it through? Okay. <clears throat> Number one, the first one was a classic starring Patrick Swayze. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal was in obscenely good shape. Yes, he was. I was amazed as to how he looks. No diddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jake, Jake was, Jake was ready to do a fitness contest, like a, you know, a, a, the, one of the board shorts thing. Yeah, he was, he was in great condition. How did he pull that off? Because it's not like he was in bad shape. No, he was never in bad shape. He but just he lost. never looked like that before. Well, he just what it is. He just lost every bit of. And body fat around. Well, you also had to build a bunch of muscle, though, as well. No, 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 no it doesn't work that way. It's like a, a block of clay. You chip into it. Okay. Okay. I bet you Jake Gyllenhaal was light, probably the lightest weight he'd ever been. Hmm. It, you know, one, you know, it, it's it's just a, a loss of body fat. You always have the striations and muscle. It's just under, you have those striations. You just got to, you got to see it. Yeah, but I don't have. You don't. It, it, but everybody but I don't have biceps like, for example, Jake you might had. if you cut the cut fat it all out. Okay, see, see that's the thing. It, people think that you get built up. When if I'm my, my leanest on camera, it's because I'm the lightest I've huh. been. Okay. So, but it looks like I've built my muscles out because you see them more. That's what. That's that's the 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 kind of the illusion. Well, uh, Conor McGregor. Played the villain mm -hmm. in that movie. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. I like Connor as a fighter, but he can't act his way out of a brown paper bag. That was some of the worst acting I've ever seen. In a Dude, movie. I, uh, Do you agree with me on this as an actor? I, I saw 40 minutes of the movie. I waited for Connor. I turned it off. After. <laughs> I go, I, uh, you know, I, I go, I look, I say, this movie is not for me. It's for the general public. Okay. Um, I Patrick Swayze made me turn it off. The ghost of Patrick Swayze he tapped like, on the shoulders and he was like, "Mike, what are you? What are you fucking? I'm, man, you know, I, I'm so sorry. I'm all right. I did not die for yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm just sorry for me. Nothing worked. Not one fucking thing worked uh, in that movie to me. I'm, of course, I'm kind of on the inside of that. Yeah, and I'm like, I. It could be. I'm like, is this going to turn into a musical? Because this is way over the top, you know. It, the bad guys were like, "I'm going to wreck this place." Ah, you know. <laughs> like, like, and then the fight scenes. I'm going. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just, it, just, that was that was pretty damn bad. It, it was so interesting. Like, it's so interesting to watch professional athletes try to act. And granted, some of them end up being good. Like my man John Sally is actually a good actor. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them can't seem to even play themselves on, on camera. Like LeBron can't seem to play LeBron. <laughs> when I watch LeBron in House Party or some other movies he's been in, you're like, oh, come on, man. Well, well think, about th think about this. Uh, Muhammad Ali played himself in The Greatest. And not well. <laughs> One of the most charismatic people to ever walk the planet. Right. Was not quite able to play himself. Right. It's a different skill set. Yeah. I think everyone thinks thing. they could act. Like, I think in my head I, I could act, but I know that I probably can't. Well, it depends. It is as you think. You know, you got to be, you know, as an acting coach, you know, before... It, the the trick to a director or an acting coach is to trick you into not acting mm. and just being in the, right. in the moment. So there's um yeah every, I feel like everyone can act. There's just you need to find what the road is to to get to a, a, a believable place. Right, and I mean Conor McGregor was essentially playing himself and still could not pull it off. Hopefully, I don't run into Conor one day and he remembers this interview. Yeah, but well, I, I will take the risk and say that he was absolutely awful in that movie. Mm. Awful. And yes, the fight scenes were kind of cool sometimes and so forth. I don't know what they were doing. But he just, you can't get over the bad acting. 
And this was, you know, somewhat of a major film. Like, Jake is a major actor. This was a big budget film. It yeah, was it was pushed. well anticipated. It, yes. it was talked about for a long time. Yes. I looked forward to it. <laughs> it just seems to be basics that they just skated right over. Yeah. Just like believability. Like, just come on. I, I, casting, all the, I'm, I was, I'm like, this is this newfangled way of movie making that I don't quite get. And I feel like uh, most remakes are just extremely underwhelming for some reason. Like, you could go down the line. White Man Can't Jump, awful. Uh, House Party, awful. White, uh, let's see what else. Uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air remake, awful. Roadhouse, awful. All of them are just... Lion King remake, awful. Uh, Little Mermaid, not very well received. I don't know why they did... They, uh, there's a... It's like people are picking from the buffet of bad movies to create the new movies. Well, those aren't, right? but no, no, I, I disagree because all those movies, the originals I thought were great. No, 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 the buffet of bad movies. Like, so So what I'm saying with um, with uh, Roadhouse, right? Yeah. Let me let me pick from a bad uh, fight scene from said movie, said bad movie, and put it in this movie. Let, let me pull, let me pull a really bad scene from another bad movie and put it in here. It's not like they're like, it's, it's kind of like a, from a bad movie guy fighting somebody and goes ah, to the crowd. That's in every bad movie, but not in reality. <laughs> like nobody fucking does that. Right. Or just really bad dialogue where you know this fight is going to happen and you got these overblown it's it's just like okay then from a bad movie where the the woman the the love interest has to give you hell at first only to do this switch that you see coming from a mile away <laughs> right and it's just not does not feel real at all it's only from a buffet of bad fucking movies you're, that's what I'm saying. It's like every bad cliche, let's throw that shit in this movie and make the new movie is what I'm saying. That happens way too much. Uh, Jake was in good shape and he showed us a lot. Okay. Motherfucker, you have to put a shirt on sometime. <laughs> okay. He had a shirt off the entire movie. <laughs> right. From the so, opening credits to the, to the end. Exactly. No shirt. But I'm like, you know. But, it, 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 but this is, I say, okay, maybe this isn't fun. Or whatever. It's like, I, I like to feel like I'm not watching a movie when I watch a movie. Mm. And every moment made me know I'm watching a movie. Okay. They didn't make that movie for me. You know, and you didn't supposed to. I guess you're supposed to make it for people who haven't seen a bunch of badass movies. <laughs> and, you know, so that's, and, you know, maybe the last half of the movie was wonderful and I and I missed out, but. No, uh, no, it was pretty much the same. More over the top fight scenes, more bad acting from Conor McGregor. Uh, mm. You know, they, he kind of like survives at the end. So they're kind of prepping it for a part two. I mm. hope that never happens, but yeah. It, it I was, was hoping Conor McGregor would be Conor McGregor. That dude has said some of the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life in interviews. Yeah. And man. Yeah, but you could tell he he's was just so acting. quick. He was just and, trying to act. It was him trying to act. He's uh, not an actor. And at one point, the director just said, ah, forget it. Let's just, just keep rolling the tape. Man. <laughs> and some of the stuff, I mean, Conor McGregor has said off the cuff. Yeah. Like, you know, with you know that whole thing with him and uh, and uh, Nate Diaz, all that, it's some of the best comedy I've ever been heard. Like he says, Nate could only come to five, and the, the hand puppet <laughs> thing. And and my favorite by him was I don't know if you ever see the interview where this guy chimes in on this dais, and he says, "Who the fuck is that guy?" But he's he's just he's so sharp in the moment. And um, but yeah, he he started out way up here. 
Yep. In a in a caricature. Yep. Yep. 